Hello, welcome to my new 727 next gen sim update video. As you can see, it's raining here in Brussels. I've made some improvements over last year. Let's check the new functionalities and fire up the sim. Putting battery on. Sim is firing up. Alright. As you can see the main instrument panel uh, didn't change very much. Uh, let's put in the iOS first. We are on Brussels. No gates, we are just standing on the runway. We're in position. Like this. Okay. So not many changes. I only changed the ACA screen, putting a new screen as you can see the two new standby instruments also functional via the screen. I added a new 727 landing gear, also added all lights, a new flap gauge from SimKit, first switch slightly auto brake, fuel flow etc. CP flight still available, just a beautiful piece. Now the big improvements, as you can see a new 737 York. I bought it from a guy in Portugal for a very good price. This really changed the feeling of flight when you're coming from SciTech. It's just uh, amazing. And also got this two weeks ago, the new 737 throttle. This one is from Flight Simulator Center in Italy, and it is the non-motorized version, the light version. But again, when you're coming from small Cytex, which are now somewhere there, don't know if you can see it. This really makes a big improvement. It's feeling really great. And all switches are also working. Park and brake. The fuel level. Flaps. And the speed brake. So as you can see, not many changes this year. But I'm planning to make big improvements this summer. As you can see, I'm planning to build a full 737 sim. So I'll start with the base on the ground, build a new stand for the main instrument panel. I'll also add a new seat coming from a car. This is project for this summer should look like this at the end will be very nice to fly okay back to the sim let's make a uh, engine start and demonstrate some uh, throttle movements during takeoff and landing so starting number two engine start off open And two is rising. And ignition. Rising. Number two is started, starting number one.
Back and wait for these. Forty percent. Check. Table. Go down. going to intercept the ILOS runway 255. Still 14 DME from the touchdown. Still very bad weather outside. Thunderstorms, rain, typical Belgian weather. You can see the turtle moving back and forth. Landing checklist. Engine start switch is all continuous on the orbit. Speed brake. Speed brake armed. Landing gear down three greens and flaps. 30 green lights, landing check is complete. And the glide slope is live. Check. So 6.4 DME. So continuing manual. fly with one hand and film with the other hand so you may notice it's not the best landing ever but just will do it for the video.
100. 50. 40. Hello. 30. 20. 10. Down. Speed back up. Reverse. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll post some updated video of the build progress of the 737 sim. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye bye.